Hey, it's Sam. Some of you may know me from Sam and 3D, my other channel, but this is Play Button Maker, which is me, and I make play buttons, YouTube play buttons, you know, the awards that they hand out, 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, and 10 million subscribers. And since I don't foresee myself getting any of those anytime soon, yeah, I decided to go ahead and start making my own, hence why this channel was created. But I'm not just making, like, you know, for art. I'm going to make out of basically any material you guys would suggest to me. And you guys can suggest the amount after I make that, and I'll reveal the winning amount in the next video. So today, for my first video, I decided to do the one subscriber paper play button. It's right here. I made this for Sam in 3D because I don't have the subscriber yet on this channel. So anyway, if you want to see how to make this, just, just continue with the video. Okay, start off, you're going to need some paper, a Sharpie, and a pen, a scissor, a ruler, a piece of cardboard or a box, and a glue stick. And now to start off, you're going to draw the outlines of the play button. So basically, you know, make, make it sort of like a rectangle. And basically, so what I'm doing right now is, yeah, basically just that. And I made the curved corners, sort of, or whatever, like to maybe get beveled it, I guess. Um, but then this part didn't really turn out that well, so right, right now I'm cutting it. So if you mess up, just redo it. Uh, or if you're like me, go get the, a straight, like one of the straight cutter thingies. And so I ended, up, I ended up cutting my own. And then what I did was, instead of curving it to bevel it, I just cut the corners off. Next, you're going to take the cardboard box and start cutting it, basically, in um, the shape that you want the plaque to be or the background. So I did like a rectangular shape, but you want it to be proportionate to the play button. Next, you're going to put the play button. You're going to use the glue stick, and on the back of the play button, which does not have a logo on it or the play but the play sign yet, you're just going to get it and glue it and center it in the best way as possible on the piece of cardboard. Okay? And so, yeah, if you, you see me doing that right now. And if some pieces are sticking up, you can just bend, fold it up and glue it, which I did not show in this video, but... I did uh, out. Now you're going to use the ruler and the sharpie to make the, I guess the somewhat triangle. And what I did was, if it overlaps a tiny bit on the um, side, what I did was I just made the tr I just made the pl the that part thicker, like I'm doing right now. And and then basically it just it came out better than it was before, and I just filled in. Right now, what I'm doing, or I just filled it, I filled that part in. Then I printed out congratulations for surpassing one subscriber with my computer. Use the straight cutty thingy, or you could, if you have really good cutting, you could just use scissors, and uh, see. And then I just use a scissor to finish touching it up until I got like uh, a strip left, like a thin, yeah, like that, a thin, thin strip. Then I put it on, I I rub glue all over it. And I centered it as best as I could, and then I glued it on to the play button. And here is our finished play button. Ta-da! Hey, thanks for watching my video. I'd also appreciate it a lot if you left a like and subscribe to this channel, as well as told some other people to subscribe, and left a comment for a material to me for me to make another play button out of. All right. So I have to say, so play button out.